Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I take multiple clips from multiple cameras and different audio sources and I sync them together very very easily in post-production. So before we get into it guys, I just wanted to shout out Black With No Cream, that's BWNC and this group was created for content creators of all different types, different genres, so whether you're a singer, a model, a producer, music manager, it doesn't matter. This group is for you to come together. You can collaborate, you can share your resources, you can share your experiences and just share your knowledge for, uh, with different people around the world. Um, the London chapter had its first meetup a couple of weeks ago and I'm just gonna give you a quick behind the scenes of what we got up to. So needless to say, I've met some very creative, very cool people on this group and the meetup was a success to say the least. And as we grow, there's going to be more people attending. So I'm going to see you at the next one, hopefully. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to this bit of software called Pluralize and it's from a company called Red Giant and they make software for the creative industries. Uh, they've got a bucket load of different software for different things and this actually has helped me out so many times in the past by being able to just come in drop the files in there it syncs it and off I go so let me just open pluralize and show you what it looks like and this is the interface right here so I'll just go to where I've got some files from two different uh, two different cameras for an interview typical so I'm going to select those files from the A cam and I'm going to drop them in there then I'm going to come back to the B camera and I'm going to select those files as well. So I'll just drop them in that bin. And whilst that's loading, what I'm going to do is check for the audio. Okay, so I've got the audio from the external microphone that was recorded on the Zoom H5. You can see these are multiple files because of where we had to pause in between, you know, a whole half day shooting. So this is where it gets complicated and this is where this program really triumphs over the function, the synchronized function within Premiere Pro itself. So I'm just going to drop these there and you can see there is camera one, it's already organized into camera one, camera two and the external audio recorder and you can see it's preparing for synchronization. So I've just got to wait on that for a second and it's taking a bit longer because I'm recording the screen as well. So whilst this is working its magic, I should just say that there are other ways to do this um, in Premiere Pro by using the, the multi-camera function and, you know, creating sequences. But that, to be honest, is a bit tedious um, and it, it takes a lot more time. If you have multiple clips, as, it, as you can see here, we have, you know, different amounts of clips um, if you're shooting for longer periods especially if you're shooting on a DSLR, which has got uh, limits, you know, time recording limits, then you're gonna, you know, come into some problems if you're gonna be trying to do it either manually or otherwise within Premiere Pro. So I'm just showing you an easier way that you can do it. Uh, if there's other ways as well, do let me know. The next step, all we have to do is click the synchronize button. And again, this software does its magic in the background and it goes ahead and syncs up everything on the timeline okay so it's given me a report here that says 32 out of 35 clips uh, were synchronized and if you can look at the blues 
you realize that most of it is, is, is synced up. Um, these three clips, one, two, and the other one somewhere, is probably where the, it just couldn't sync anything um, because there was nothing for it to sync with. Maybe one of the cameras wasn't on at the time, etc. So that's all there is to it. And the next thing you do is to export. So I'm going to export this timeline in a Premiere Pro format, which is because Premiere Pro is what I use. There's also other options for Final Cut if you just wanted audio files or if you wanted video files only. So my selection is Premiere Pro and I'm going to select a destination where I want this. And I can rename this if I need to. Hit the export button and away it goes. There we are. And it's an XML file, right? So all you need to do now is open up Premiere Pro. So you go open project, you navigate to where your XML file is, and that will import the already synchronized timeline. Okay, so this pluralized software, uh, it's not free. It is not a free software and it costs uh, $2.99 US dollars. That's how much it will cost you if you were to buy it full price uh, from Red Giant. Um, normally, from time to time, they do go on sale. So when I bought this one, uh, they had 40% off and that was over the Christmas period. So you can wait around and see if you get a deal or if there's a coupon or anything anyway. And they also do student deals. Uh, you do need to have a student account in the US. However, a student email account in order to make use of, of this reduction in price. But um, trust me, it, it is not free, but it is so, so convenient and so quick. If I take you down to the timeline, I just scrub through here and you can see that everything is, is synced up. You know, these gaps are where we would have stopped recording for a bit. And all you need to do now is cut and edit and do whatever else you want to do with this project. So as I was saying, uh, it's for me, is it's a worthwhile investment. Um, if you're doing this for money, if you're doing this professionally, then it makes sense, even if you're not, because you don't want to be spending your time, you know, trying to synchronize this when you can be spending your time doing other things. You know, it's all about time management. So this works for me. There is also one more thing that I wanted to show you as well. So once you've installed Pluralize, then it's easy to access it as well from within Premiere Pro because it attaches itself as a plugin on your extensions. So you would go to Window, Extensions, and that should come up Pluralize. It will open a window within Premiere Pro. And what it will do, it will synchronize anything that you've got open up within your timeline. But that's a quick little tip for you to explore if you ever get to use this program. So while I'm here, I'm going to tell you guys that this video wasn't sponsored by Red Giant in any way. Um, I just found the software and I loved it and so I'm going to endorse it on that respect. Okay guys, so as, as video content creators, we know this is a critical step. This is a very important step and we do it almost every day. So if we can make this easier, then why not? So if you have another way that you found that is quicker or even a better way of doing this, then do let me know in the comments below. If you found this useful guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'm going to see you on the next video man. Peace.